Good morning. It is rainy, cold. I'm gonna paint our bathtub. Get that bathtub. So baby, we should start the yeah. <laughs> day. Okay, so it was supposed to be a full day of work, but we had to go do laundry. It's our, probably our last laundry run before we head to the States. And we had to get more supplies. We had to return a bunch of stuff that we didn't use. So now we're back and it's raining. So Michael is gonna put ACs on the roof and hang the water tanks, but it's cold and wet. As my older brother would say, Michael, 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 that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> and so instead, he's gonna help me with cutting these big pieces of plywood so we can get our pantry doors and our bathroom door cut. So that's what we're working on right now. A little trickier than you think when you're by yourself. Whoa! She's strong, just like her mom. Okay, uh, let's put it Yeah, 23 and a half. Did you ask your Just cut the hole for our shower pan, wash tub. So this is the bath drain, shower drain that we purchased. Bathtub drain assembly. Just gonna make sure it fits before we go ahead to paint. It's a push button plug that goes down the hole. And then I think this is a one and a half inch uh, fitting. Yep, yeah, one and a half thread fits with tubs. That'll fit nicely. The tub itself will, has a little give, so it'll support that with maybe a half inch plywood. So we'll take a scrap piece of plywood, fit it to that measurement, glue it to the underside so it can, so it's not going to move as much. But we still want the water to flow to the middle, so I might need to bevel that plywood a bit. And that's just to shave around the circle so it slopes towards the drain. Good morning. It is rainy, cold. It's, well, I don't know if you call this rainy, but it's wet, spitting. I got my tea, I got a rag, I gotta head into the shop. Thankfully, I have lots of shop work to do today. I'm gonna paint our bathtub that Michael cut the drain hole in for me yesterday. And then I gotta work on painting all those cabinet doors. So that is my work for the day, which is kind of nice because it's all inside. <laughs> Michael has all outside work to do. We were really, really, really hoping to leave tomorrow morning, but with this rain, it's gonna be Friday morning at the earliest. <sighs> I hope we don't have to push it. We have something we're supposed to do with Adrian Sunday night. So if we leave by Friday morning, we can make it. Tomorrow morning would have been better. It would have been less stressful, um, but we may just have to bump our plans with her, but really hope not. So I'm gonna head in and get my bathtub painted. Okay guys, so this is my tub. It's just a wash basin really. People that do uh, their laundry by hand still, which is awesome. I'm not that person, but that's super cool. Michael sanded it all down for me yesterday, but the next problem is because this is uh, hot dipped steel. When I was reading online, it says that it doesn't like 
to adhere to paint or paint doesn't like to adhere to it. So the only thing that I read to make it a little bit more adhereable, that's probably not a word, is to wipe it down with pure vinegar. So I'm gonna wipe it down. Michael sanded it for me. I don't know that that's good enough, but he sanded it down with some pretty rough sandpaper um, and I'm gonna wash it with vinegar. And then I am going to use this Rust-Oleum tub and tile refinishing kit. I painted our bathtub back when we lived in Toronto about 12, 13 years ago. It worked pretty well. The paint is like, it's like, uh, it's an epoxy acrylic, so it's really heavy duty. As long as it will adhere and not chip off, then it's gonna help just to make sure that all of these little cracks and everything stay sealed. So we won't have to worry about water, and I think it'll have a nice look as long as I can do a good job and it adheres. So we're gonna try this out. I'm probably gonna put the vinegar on and let it sit for a little while. I don't know that I need to, but I am going to, so then I will go and start sanding down the primer cupboard doors while I'm waiting for that to kind of dry and the vinegar to work its way in. One of the biggest reasons I want to get this tub painted here in the shop before we leave is this bathtub paint is really toxic. Like it, the smell is crazy bad. When I did paint my tub before, I was not concerned about toxins as much back then, but the smell was so strong. Uh, we painted our second floor bathroom and we actually all slept in the basement for about three days just because the smell was so strong. I want to do that in here so that first of all, the smell that's just dissipating is in this area and so that it can off gas for like at least a day and a half. I was hoping to get it done last week so it had more time, but we didn't have the drill bit to drill that hole. So that's what I've been waiting for. And so I'm gonna need it done today so it just has as much time as it can to off gas before we have to move it into the bus. All right, I got all my cupboard doors and my two toe cakes. I am gonna sand them down with some 220 grit sandpaper. That's just the finest that I have for my sanding machine. Whoops. So I'm gonna sand these down and just get all the bumpy roughness off of them from the primer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put a first coat of paint on them. It's a little bit wet still from the vinegar. I'm just trying to use this and dry it out. I plugged in the space heater just to keep the temperature in this little room a little bit warmer because it is getting a little bit chilly. It's warm enough to work. It's just a little cold for dry paint. Okay, so this comes with a part A and a part B. I read my instructions. I have to stir part A and then put equal parts of part A and part B into my bowl, which is a cup, and then stir them together. coat is done. It looks pretty good. It definitely needs a second coat being that it didn't go over white, especially on that side there, but that side looks better. So second coat. It only needs to wait two hours and then I can recoat it. So I'm just going to put my brush into a Ziploc bag, wrap up that little cup because that cup is going to do this whole second coat as well. So while that's dry, I'm going to go work on the cupboard doors. So Toby is just setting the slats. We've had them in place, but as you know, you roll over and move around on your bed, these slats kind of spread wider and wider. And especially for those on the, well, you can see Alex's bed. It starts spreading and bunching up. So they need to be fixed in place. So one, one screw, I think on the old bus, I did two per side on each board. I go crazy with the screws, but one is plenty. It's just to hold it in place. We get that going on, and then we're gonna have a kid sinking through. Yeah, that's knee really does every night. Every night, Bethy kind of slips through and Toby has to readjust. We meant to do it. We just haven't had the time to do the other so, uh, Toby's gonna get that done, and I gotta go mount my tanks.
the bathtub. I might do one more coat on it. I'd have to mix up some more paint, but then it, I think it'd be just a brighter white. You can still kind of see some of the metal shining through, but oh, that gloss is so beautiful. It doesn't even look as good on the camera as it does in real life, but I'm so impressed. Hopefully it stays on there. It doesn't all just start chipping off because it's really cute. That's such a cute look. It's kind of like commercial mixed with classic antique. I don't know. I just, I really like that style. Raina came and helped me and we got all these sanded and primed. And then all the ones that had been primed the other day are all painted with their first coat of the cabinet paint. And now I have nowhere left to put things and nothing that's dry enough to paint. So I need to find another project to do. We're getting there. It's coming. It's coming. Michael had to make a little supply run into the city to grab more drill bits because he wore the last one out drilling through his metal. So he's getting back at it and I'm going to find something else to get done. All right. Well, I went to do another project and made myself hot tea and got some snacks and fed the kids some snacks because they were all hungry. So now I'm back out here and I am going to start switching out these for the ones that we primed this morning and get some paint on those. So that's what I'm up to now. So Michael just got called out on an emergency RV call. We are supposed to be leaving Friday morning. It is Wednesday, pretty much evening, late afternoon, early evening. And there's so much left to do. A lot of the outside stuff Michael really couldn't do because it was really cold and wet. I mean, he was gonna do it, but it's really miserable. So he was trying to do his inside stuff. Then he got this emergency RV call. So he went out to do that. We're still planning to leave Friday morning at this point. I think that tomorrow it's supposed to be nice and Michael will get the water tanks mounted. And if he can get that done, then we will just throw the ACs in the bus which will be a pain because they'll take up a lot of space and then we'll mount them when we get to Arkansas. So that's kind of our tentative plan. So at this point we're a day and a half, a little less from leaving. And I also have to go and hem Raina's dress for Adri's wedding. She is Adri's maid of honor and she already ordered her dress and it came in and it's about four inches too long for her. Other than that, it fits amazing and it's so beautiful. So I have to go help with that before we leave. So I will be doing that probably this evening as soon as the kids are in bed. I mean, I love sewing. I love helping people. I love that Adrian's getting married. I love that Raina's her maid of honor. I love all of that stuff. It's just another thing that I gotta try to squeeze in, but I think it's gonna be okay. There's like my biggest things were making sure that all these big sheets of plywood, everything we needed big sheets of plywood for were used because we can't bring it with us and I don't wanna rebuy. So we're getting pretty close to that point. We did have a couple comments from some viewers asking why Toby is not more involved in this bus build. And so I just wanna say that it's really hard with YouTube to get a full picture because Somebody has to be filming. Like for example, right now I'm filming myself and my right arm is burning bad. So then I usually just stop talking. But when we're doing projects, when Michael's down like under the bus doing things or in the, the back of a cupboard, like he's not filming himself, which means that's usually Toby. And so he is 95% of the time, the one behind the camera, unless it's on a tripod which I am usually using the tripod in the shop. And so when it's Michael, it's mostly Toby filming him. So that's what's going on. And then he does um, help Michael too when there's like, when two sets of hands are needed. But then at that point, there's no set of hands left to film. And because I always have the tripod, usually the camera just gets shut off. So typically that's what's going on. So Toby has been helping a ton when he's not helping with the bus build. He's often just helping with the kids just to keep everything going as smoothly as possible. So making their meals, breaking up fights, keeping them occupied, getting Levi dressed, helping him get his shoes off or on or off or on or off or on again and again and again, because that's what it's like with two-year-olds. So he does a lot of that stuff. He's got some of his best friends here on this property that we're staying at. And so we have 
tried really hard to be super flexible and allowing him to spend as much time with them as possible, which typically has been in the evenings for the most part. That's when we're not working anymore because we're exhausted from a full day. So it's been good. Um, but he has taken a few days and gone with them on little day trips to places. And we're really happy about that because when you travel a lot as a full-time family, it's hard for the older kids to make friends and to have friends on the road because they don't go to the playground at every RV park like your younger kids do and just make friends. And so for him to have his buddies here and to be able to hang out with them has been a huge blessing and something we're very very thankful for and so if that means that a couple days here and there we miss out on his help because he's hanging out with them that is okay with us because he is going to be stuck with us every day all winter so this is the time for him to go hang out with them on that note i am going to get back to all my cabinet doors i got all of the big ones that we primed this morning are all sanded down and now i'm going to wipe them down and get a coat of paint on them so they can start drying one of our bits of plastic out of the tall grass and we're gonna cut a section of it to put on the shower wall where the kids are gonna wash their hands into the tub so we need the wall there to be waterproof we made a little template of the curve three years on it so we're gonna put it on there and measure it and cut it of the paint and initially even the first time when I first mix it up it's like really thin and I'm like not even sure it's gonna go in the tub and then as I start painting it thickens right up. All right it's done and the light in here looks kind of yellowish but it's actually really bright white and we'll see it tomorrow in the sunshine but it looks Fantastic, I'm not doing another coat. It is done, but that's exciting. I gotta put away my paint from the cabinets, cupboard doors, I mean. Put away all this other mess. Get these kids to bed. That was a long day. That was a really long day for me. Kids were all kind of cooped up because it's been raining and I worked my butt off. So the evidence of my work is spread all out over this shop. So definitely, Gotta finish these projects up tomorrow and get their shop cleaned up and back to normal for them. So. Oh, gosh. There Three, you go. two, one. So I'm trying to sew Raina's dress, but I lost these little things that hold the thread. Howdy. That's Michael Lewis. Is this for the, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> these hold the thread on the top of the machine. And they were not there after I got my machine serviced three years ago. They weren't there, so I was just using Adrian's. So then when I was trying to sew the other night, I used a really thin oh, crochet no. hook in there and then i came back today and it's missing so it's inside so i pulled it apart to get it out and i found both of these things inside my machine and the crochet hook's still in there too oh i have a magnetic extension tool oh yeah. oh wait 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 no oh we she's don't a, need your she's tools a sewing, sewing. <laughs> this is so exciting <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting the light down. <laughs> There's the motor. Thank you, honey. <gasps> <gasps> Loose change. I just want to watch the drop. Yeah. And here's the tears. <gasps> that sounds like coins. It's not. It's a crochet hook. I promise. I didn't put any coins in my sewing machine. In me sewing machine? My. I said my. Okay. I'm hanging out with the Irish. <laughs> 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 Oh, that, I don't <laughs> <laughs> what? Now I can't even see it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Maybe my magnetic thing. If so. <gasps> oh, yeah! Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, that is that's awesome. a crochet hook. Oh, that's We've a bitty one. That's a bitty one. A bitty one. Oh, now I gotta try to figure out how to put my machine back together. No problem. No. We're here for you. <laughs> 
I thought we were done repairing for the day. I don't know. Maybe Jackson's too on the floor. I did hear something. <laughs> we'll put another adventure. <laughs> There's these clips. Oh. Do you know where those go? No. Right to me. Oh, I got it. 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 It's like a new little What other garbage is down here, though? So you don't know where these came from? No. That was the problem. I'm so glad I didn't stop filming. <laughs> These might belong somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> so what if they be... fell inside? How important Well, be? she was jamming four knots. <laughs> what are we looking for? Another screw! <laughs> it's so fun! <laughs> I feel like it's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know when the mom and dad yeah. were on the... With the magnifying glasses? Don't you worry, think? everybody. I'm, right. I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh I'm my right here. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's not gonna fall apart. Did you find it? No. Uh, no. No. But that can be one screw loose. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Camera. School and become there. a filmographer. Yeah. And I love the white paint on your fingers. <laughs> Very uh, seamstressy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. <Coke. laughs> we rigged up the um, little post. I had these clips. They fell out of my machine while I was searching for the other stuff. So I used it and I held it on. And then Chris was talking and banged the table and it fell back in. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and so I have one in the machine, but I had my spare one. So I pulled it out and then Chris found a zip tie. And it's perfect. It just fits right there. So I think technically this is supposed to lift up higher, but it's doing its job. We're sewing. We're actually almost done. So the intense concentration. As long as it calculates it. <laughs> this was my mom's, and I didn't get it until she passed away like 11 years ago. So I just oh, wow. sewed everything by hand before that. Well, my teacher was yes. from England, and at one point took my head and another kid's head and went bonk. Really? <laughs> Which it was kind of funny. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I could tell you.